Hello everybody, my name is Ethan St. Germain. I'm the accounting intern here at Finlandia University. Today I'm going to be walking through the American Express website to create a monthly expense report. First you'll want to go to AmericanExpress.com, type in your username and password, and press login. Your homepage will have payment due please pay by and total balance along with your recent transactions. You'll go up to statements and activity. On the left hand side under business tools you'll see expense reports. You'll click create a report. The report name will be the month and the year expense report. You can skip the additional details. Click the more optional details drop down. Here you will see your cost center, which is your four digit department number. You can skip employee ID. For the job title, this is the purchasing account. The department name is the business office and the authorizer is your supervisor. You will then click next. If this happens, just click the refresh. You will see that this is the last saved report. Transactions will need to be added. You will click OK. Here are all the report details that you typed in. You'll scroll down to card transactions, add or remove card transactions. You'll filter your transactions for the month of May and press apply. Here you will see the four transactions for the purchasing account. These green check marks mean that there is a receipt attached. You will click on the transaction ID. You will attach a receipt. Select an expense from the drop down. This was for office supplies and this was for the business office. I will then type my coding right here as one dash the business office dash office supplies and there is no detailed expense code. You will click save. If you need to itemize, you can click the drop down on the itemize. You will then be prompt to type in two codings, one for each department, and then you will split it based on the percentage. Make sure that your remaining amount says zero. Press save. If you scroll up and this save button is blue instead of gray, please click save. You'll scroll to the top to the go back arrow on the blue ribbon. And you will repeat the process for all the transactions in the month. As you can see here, it shows up that I did not choose an expense type. I will click the transaction ID. This was for $49.95 at Amazon. Here is my receipt. This was for shipping or postage. And it was the mailroom. So you will type in the expense code. As you can see, the button here is blue, so you will click save. You will scroll back to the top and press the go back arrow. Once you have finished all of your transactions, you will then select all. You will press save. 
and then this will bring you to the review report page. Here you can see your report details as well as the four transactions that I selected. You will then scroll down to export PDF. It will download the PDF so you can then open up the PDF. And here is the report. It will have the total charges, it will have your report details, it will have the transactions with the coding, here is the itemized codes, and it's split, and you will see a receipt reference number. Page 2 or so on will be your receipts. As you can see next to the receipt there is a number that corresponds with the receipt reference here. We will scroll to the end of the report and you will sign here as well as date and then you will send it to your supervisor who will authorize it by signing it and dating it which then this final report will be sent to Amex reporting at finlandia.edu. And that will be the last for monthly expense reporting. Thank you all for your time. If you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to us. My email is emstgermain at finlandia.edu or you can email mxreporting at finlandia.edu. Next video will be receipt attachment through the website. Thank you.